Hello, hello, and today is the 1st December 1st, um, and I am doing the um, 25 days of manga. And today I read Death Note Volume 2. This one was pretty good. I would rate this a 4.5 because I really, really enjoyed this one. I enjoyed the character L. L is a secret detective who is trying to figure out who this Kara person is who is killing these people. And um, Death Note is about this guy named Light who finds a notebook, a death, a death notebook, um, that if you write someone's name on it, they die. And you know, that's like killing um, people. Um, so this volume does more of the investigation at hand, deals with the um, FBI um, and who the task force for people who are uh, serial, you know, commit serial murders and stuff. And they are trying to figure out who is the culprit, which is obviously light. Um, I really like this book. Um, my favorite character that we met is this girl right here. This is my favorite type of character girl, and I really love um, the Shigami. The Shigami is a um, death god, and he is the one. He's just so funny. He's like, oh, this is a death opera, or whatever. He makes it so light. So even though it's got really dark topics and heavy, heavy com con um, heavy, heavy topics because there's like suicide in here and there's, um, they don't show suicide but there's suicide mentioned in here and there's also like um, a lot of, um, not gruesome, there's not a lot of gruesome scenes in this one yet. So there's just like people dying from heart attack and dying from suicide and um, this one does have more of the investigation and more of the story about this guy who was part of the investigators, the 13 investigators, and when they find out, like they write down the names and then they die. So yeah, so um, really interesting, I am um, so excited for this book, so yeah. Um, and, oh, uh, that is my thoughts for that. Hello, hello, and, um, I am finishing Death Note Volume 3. This one was pretty good. It wasn't amazing. I think some of the, I liked the, um, the note. The note in the videotapes that was really fun. Can of remind me of a horror. There is, um, so right at the beginning, we, they added the cameras and, um, light room to figure out if he was the corporate, culprit, I guess. And I think, I honestly think that all knows that light is the corporate, like, is Kara, honestly. And I, I love the idea that Light and um, Elle are kind of working together. So they're like can working. I watch this? Yeah, you can watch anything you want. Um, so that's what um, they're doing. Um, they're working together, and um, Elle has just asked uh, Light or he wants to work with the criminal because he likes his mastermind. I really love this because it reminds me of like detective work. Like we get the thoughts of the characters, like the actual initial characters. So we get like the thoughts of um, L and Light and the text of thoughts are like this. So it's like written on the words, but it's not bubbles and the actual, um, words like if somebody says something in front of the page it's actually bubbled and um i really like that and i also think it's really cool that they have like at the end of each chapter they have like the rules 
um, some some more rules, which I really like. And yeah, so I am done with volume three. I'm gonna pick another graphic novel to read tonight. Uh, probably read that tonight ish because I want to read my short story. And yeah, so yeah, and um, that is it for book number two out of 25. So we gotta read 25 of these. So excited. Hello, I finished um, She-Hulk yesterday and it was really good. Mommy, um, mommy, the, mommy, mommy, double iron, double iron. Yeah. Um, I, I finished it. What are you doing? I'm not gonna come over there. I'm doing this. So, um, I finished She-Hulk, and I really did in Mike. I really liked it. Bobby didn't, I guess. He doesn't like She-Hulk. I do. <laughs> then put a thumbs up. Um, she, so, um, so I liked it. I think there is a little bit of a problem with it, and that is the way you read it. Like, some words on the text will be like um side to side and other ones will be um you read down so it's like just kind of confusing finish. you have to reread it so, so it has, I guess had to read that the art style is also done by it's thumbs up it's <laughs> thumbs down thumbs down and do um um, I had a little bit of trouble with that, and the art style yeah. is different, like, in each, I think, chapter, it's different, um, and stuff, so I think it, like, got a different paint or person, um, who did the characters and stuff, and, yeah. Um, other than that, I think I really did enjoy it, and I'm going to be reading Sailor Moon 1, um, the Pretty Guardian edition, this one is so amazing. It does have, like, artwork in, it has the first page, like, in color, or the first couple pages in color, like, this is an amazing picture, um, but, um, the rest, um, and then I have some more chapters, so like, oh, 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 chapters in the original, but I'm um, excited to start this and finish this as well. Um, and yeah, and, and I want to say something to them. Um, all right, say something. Oh. Say, say something. Um, we will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vlog, so there's going to be another video after this one. Hello, hello. Um, I finished the Sailor Moon, um, pre Sailor Moon over the weekend. I finished that on Sunday, I think. Um, so yeah, um, this one is really... I think this is really a fun one. I am definitely collecting these are the next graphic novel that I'm collecting. There's like three versions of the Steel Moon graphic novels. There's the mini versions, there's the mini graph one. There is the mini versions that look like this, so they are like really, and they go like this, they look like normal, and not backwards, so they look like normal. And this one reads obviously backwards, um, but this one's really cool because it does have art, like really color. Uh, called Ron Art, and I absolutely love that. 
and um, the Ted Talk is so cute. They also have these little um, chibi sides throughout the artwork, so like throughout the pages. The translation in here is new, so I do think that the, like before when I read this, I read the short stories, I didn't really like them because of the translation. But um, I really like that they use the regular names, the true names or the true thing names. And I like how they kind of um, like kind of add some more of the media appropriate since it in, was made in the 2000s. That, or at least this one, the original was in the 90s. So like 94, 95, this one's like 2001, and um, it's just really, um, really good on how, like the art style, and um, is the art style is more crisper, like the lines are clean and stuff. Okay. Yeah, this is a show. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's a real toy or not. But, you know. uh, this is it's not a commercial, Bobby. This is the show, part of the show. This is, doesn't have any commercials. Yeah. So this definitely has more crisp lines so you can see what is going on. I also like how some of the da Japanese text gets kind of translated um, and not like the regular like what people are saying but like the um, cities and um, or not cities but like signs and different meanings get translated on what you know and um, on what they say and I really like that um, and stuff also it has notes in the back so um, notes in the back translation notes to kind of get you into what they mean and what the content is so if you're not understanding it you can put back to the back and it'll tell you about page number, like the bunhead, lumpkin, um, and what they're referring to, stuff, sem seminar, a night school, um, Miko, clapping twice a time, glamorous, juice, what juice is. It's interesting because this says that juice is actually to non alcoholic drinks. Like, this right here could be juice. Um, so it's interesting that Japanese call the um, the um, soda juice like the juice. Oh my god! I just think that's really interesting. It kind of reminds me of like in the U.S. We have many different words for. Um, soda, we have like soda pop, or we have pop, or we have soda, or we have coke. I mean, that's like three different words for one thing. So I think it's really interesting that some people um, use different um, things. Also, um, what I also really like about it is it has a little bit of... Um, like a preview of the next volume, but in Japanese, and there is a Japanese transformer, which I love. Um, and the story about this is about a girl named Usagi, and she is basically her, she is um, supposed to come. She's supposed to, um, she gets chosen by Luna, who's a cat, to become a, okay, Bobby, okay, okay, so, um, it's in the show, 
It's actually showing the the um, fight in a different way. Anyway. Yeah. Showing the fight in toy as in, in toys. So it's not as violent apparently. So um this one is about a girl who named Yusagi who is a normal teenager and she's in middle school and she meets this guy named Luna and Luna um basically gives her a brooch and says transform or you can be Sailor Moon or yeah Sailor, uh, Sailor Moon say Sailor Moon and she says Sailor Moon makeup and she turns into a superhero and I really like the story in this um I always have it's like a reminisce of childhood and it's just so I don't know so um it's just so amazing uh, I do think that this translation is only a four like I usually rate the um, graphic novels a five I love them so much but I will say that this one does get a little bit repetitive so at the first um I think couple of volumes um a couple of um what do you call it um chapters they get really repetitive and say oh i'm sailor moon and i'm so and so i'm a i'm a credit baby and whatever and it's kind of like re-editing like rehashing what was said so it's you know it's fine to take your time if you want to take your time reading it and not like hurry it up reading it i guess because of that but for me, it's not really that much of a problem because in the when it was originally published in Japanese, it was um, in, told in a magazine. So, you know, obviously there's people reading volume one or volume two and or not volume two, but uh, chapter two first will not have known what happened in chapter one, but kind of got a, a like rehash of it. So, yeah, um, I'm also really excited to continue this because I'm going to be collecting these versions. Really, really pretty, um, like, covers as well. I'm really excited, um, to do that. Um, the next book I will be reading for the 25 manga is a graphic novel another graphic novel was chosen for me i don't have enough manga and i decided that i'm not gonna go to the library because i was like oh i'm gonna go to the library get a bunch of manga but just decided that since covid is happening i don't want somebody i mean even though they probably clean it really well like in the um in like I don't know it's just like people are touching things it's just like when you go shopping people are touching things and so i just don't want to get covid at all so yes so i'm going to be reading amulet next this is by kazu kitsubushi and it's book one of the stone keeper and this is a middle grade series on the back it says there's something strange behind the basement door um yeah so, and that's all I want to know. I don't want to go into it. So I want to go into this kind of blind. All I know is it's something about this basin and door and their parents get kidnapped and shenanigans and get pinched in two. So I'm really excited. Alright. And. Well, last night I read Inuit by Kazu Kazuki and this one was really good. It has beautiful artwork, and it didn't take long to read. I really loved the characters, and they were all whimsical, and I love it. This always reminds me of either Studio Ghibli, 
definitely Studio Ghibli plus Labyrinth vibes. So if you feel like any of that, it's really awesome. Also, there's kind of a mystery kind of behind it. I love this so much. It was so good. So highly recommend um, you pick this up if you have not already. Okay. Hello, I read um, this one with the, the Gun Keepers Curse, part of the Inlet series, book number two. Really enjoyed this as much as the first one. It introduces a new Hawk character, obviously, we see him on the cover, and he's kind of key to this, um, this uh, thing. Um, we do also meet the trees, which is probably my favorite part, is he's talking trees, kind of like, you know, grandmother widow, obviously, and Pocahontas. I also really love the whole um, storyline of this girl kind of learning to use her stone to not be fully consumed by it. So it kind of reminds me of this volume kind of uh, reminds me of part of Lord of the Rings and definitely like a lot of like very like you know Star Wars when the Luke is trying to use the force and trying to like let it like you know practice it and also with um Yu Yu Hakusho if you've ever seen that there's a scene where he's trying to use his power and two great great abilities and this kind of reminds me of that because she is training to use her use um powers and i really love the quotes in here like um which right here is amazing at um what he says i really love that um i also really like how her brother who's not pictured in here is um is like a leader of the army so he's like a general in a way so yeah, I love how these kids are like growing up more and the mom also is in, is kind of in the novel as well or in the rough novel as well. Kind of close towards the end you get her her kind of thought. And yeah. So um, I'm gonna show you. Really, really awesome. Um, I highly recommend the series. Um, I've read the first two volumes and they're both five. Amazing. So yeah. Can't wait to what I read next. Hello, I finished Saya Volume 1. Didn't really like this one. I will say that the art is pretty good. I really like the art. Um, in this, but I think the some part, like, I just didn't get the side characters, the weird side characters, like, there's an explosive scene with, um, hold on, this character right here, his explosive scene with him, and his princess, because that's a prince, and, uh, just weird characters of all like um let me show you another weird character. Um where are you at? Um there's a snake um spidery like that. But yeah. Um and it was just weird. There was some weird jokes in it. There was, um, um, this does have violence and it does have sex and it has, um, minor trafficking, I guess, would you say? It's horrible. That's probably why I rated it so early, early because of that. Even though one of the characters tries to help her in a way, it's just, yeah. And also, there's a part where this guy goes into a 
um, adult store and basically the people have huge heads and I'm like I don't understand why like mm -hmm. yeah so this one was not for me I gave this one 18 stars didn't really like it so when you pick that up so yeah hello and um I finished um, the wonderful vision of Oz. This one was really good. This one is a 4.5 for me. I really love the art style and stuff. So, um, in the beginning, it's really good. Let me show you what in the beginning. This is like kind of like the way. Tones in the beginning. So it's really, really pretty. And then when we get to eyes, it's more obviously more colorful. And um, when they get to the Emerald City, which I love, um, it's not going to watch these kinds of movies before bed. Mom, really? I'm not scared. Let me watch the end, would you? I'm gonna get the It's like mostly like green tint. Well, good night, honey. So, um, really pretty. It's really a bunch of different green tints. And then in the Wicked Witch, where Mom. when they did her, it's like mostly like dark colors. <laughs> so, um, and then also when they tell their own story, like the Wicked Witch, they, um, when they tell their own story, like, it's like black and white. I'm going to show you that. So like, it's One like kind of a gray tint, like and that's how it looks like the story, which um, I love. And there's a bunch of different, the different stories, so this is the story of a girl named Dorothy who there's a cyclone and it comes, and it basically it basically brings her down to eyes and she has to figure out how to go home, basically. She meets the lion, the scarecrow, and the two woodmen on her adventure to go home. So yeah, I do recommend this book as well. They do have the second one which I am planning to buy because I really liked it. They also have some like concept art which I love. Like behind the scenes footage and um and they also have some like pictures which is really pretty just some full blown pictures that's amazing but the second one's called a marvelous land of Oz um I've read um I think I've read card number seven. I'm going to be reading the track of us soon, so I'm really excited about that. Me, yeah, I'm turning this off. I think we are. Oh, wow. No life of us. Daddy always turns it up really loud for his anime, which he doesn't need to. He always put like, you know, the um, thing. Anyway, so yeah, this one was, I, I do highly recommend this um, and stuff. If you have not read it, it, even if you've read the book or if you have not read the book, I recommend this. So, Either way, I love the art style, I love the way, the colors, and all that stuff. It was just really fun to delve into the world again. And I would give this one a 4 because I did like the whole 
that it was more, the adaptation was faithful to the book, but I also really like how the drawings were and it was a little different. So if people who are new to the series want to pick it up, I would highly pick up the graphic novel because it's fun and funny and stuff. And that is it. Also, I want to make an announcement that I'm going to be participating in this mini graphic novel thing for 25 days, but I actually am only going to do 12 days. So I'm going to count up my books to see if I've read and yeah, if this is the last book, then I won't be doing it. But um, if there is not, which I don't know, but yeah, um, then you'll see another video after this. Obviously. Last night I finished High School DXD. This is really interesting. It's about a boy named Isu, which is right here in the back. He is in high school and he um, kind of he um, has a first girlfriend and this girlfriend tries to kill him. And she succeeds, and then he calls upon a um, devil. Um, he um, calls upon the same circle, and um, he calls upon the devil, and react. And she saves him from being killed. And he gets turned into a devil. And he has to learn to become a devil. So this volume has four chapters in it. It has um, life one, life two, life three, and life four. And what I really enjoyed about this, it wasn't like the anime is very both vulgar, yeah, vulgar, and it's very I don't know. I mean, it is similar than to this in some of the ways, but I think there's a lot of differences, like, you know, the storyline, I really love the artwork of the angels. Let me show the girl, actually. She's so pretty. Um, where is she at? Where is she at? She's so pretty. I'm just trying to get a bigger picture. There's a bigger picture of her. Yeah. Um, so she looks like this. And I love the picture of her. She looks so pretty. And um, yeah, so um, this one has a really weird and it does have, um, I would say explicit content, so it does have like really explicit content, so it's not for kids that are like 13, for older people like 18 and up. So I do think that this is a good manga for people who are mature and definitely can handle that. Um, it does have some weird moments. Um, that's not in the anime, and I think, like, I like that a little bit, like, I like the weird moments. Um, I don't like, like, basically, like, I don't know, some of the characters are kind of weird, like, they have this monster, what is this, and they don't really explain that, but, yeah, it, it is kind of weird, but, I did like it and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed reading it. It was a 3.5 for me because of the way, like the writing was kind of, I would say like, they, they would say like, cut, cut. And they also didn't really have that much explanation in the back to, um, with the culture. So they do have a little bit of explanation, like, down here, so it has like the explanation stuff in the page numbers, 
but this one didn't really have, they just had like what you call, you know, people and they, they have like the different, um, what the cloth are from, so I did, you know, cover this up. Um, but like there's a clock right here, or oh, it's here, but <laughs> there's a clock right there that's like supposed to be a character from a TV series or a TV series. It says a light novel, but you can also do um, other stuff. And so it has like references to Dragon Ball from Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball the series and um yeah and One Piece it has One Piece uh fun funny thing from One Piece so it has a lot of references to other animes in here which I thought was really fun and they made me want to you know watch some of these because I have seen Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z was like my game but I had not seen Dragon Ball. Um, I have seen um and I haven't seen the other one. Here. Like One Piece of Code. Like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. There's one you made and one you didn't make. Anyway, so, um, so yeah. And I did like the um, pictures. They weren't as, what do you call it, like, like fully exposed I guess um so yeah I did like this um but um it is definitely for like uh, a high school of people people in high school because I feel like some of the dialect is definitely something a high schooler would do and I also feel like some of the stuff, like they had a creek here, which was part of the, you know, N17 thing they were watching earlier in the manga. And I just didn't, like, I was like, how can that be? Like, I gotta watch Pretty Girl because in Pretty Girl cool is a children's show. Like, imagine that. I, Ten times up, <laughs> like yeah, and and it's like really weird. So it's like costumey and cosplay and stuff. They do have cosplay in here, which I think is really fun. Um, and kind of the chest, which I think is really great to add that element. But this does turn into a romance, but kind of a um, uh, I don't know how to explain it, like. I liked the first season of this, and I did like the volume nine and two continue, but I don't know if I'm going to like continue with it, but I am going to buy it in the season to be a series. And, so, um, stay tuned to see what I read next. Hi, um, I finished Amulet the Storm. The cloud switchers. This, um, I guess this book totally reminded me of um, Castle in the Sky, which I love that movie, by the way. And this is um, about, well, this book series keeps on getting better and better. We learn, and this is a little bit of spoilers in here, so just beware. But we learn about um, the um, the elves and one, one elf in particular, and there's another elf that got drained his memory, so he forgets that he's like a bad guy and he's searching for these characters, these these characters right here on the top, and um, it ends up that she um, this. They're searching for this um, place called Sal Silas, which is in the sky, or is rumored to be in the sky because it was destroyed a long time ago. 
and this book kind of goes into that history and it's really really good i obviously recommend this series so much um it's just so fun this one was a 4.5 i think and i love the art i mean it is a good page like they have some like full like just regular pictures like this you know this is like a dream sequence and they also have like some full illustrations let me show you like really full page illustrations which is really amazing and it's very detailed so i do highly recommend this this one is more of a i would say it's like a children's but it's also can be enjoyed by adults too i am well over the adult way age but i'm not i do you think that this one does have violence but it, there's no like blood it's just um these um the, yeah he is but um but like i don't know it's just it's just really 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 pretty and i love the creatures in here the creatures on me are really creepy but they're also very like you know, you can see that this this creature is creepy, but they might not be bad. So I like that in a graphic novel, how, you know, some creatures look bad, but they really are. So I do highly recommend this series. This one I rated a 4.5. Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. Or, not welcome to my channel, but this I did finish, um... Sailor Moon Super S by no Nokoto Tahaki, and this one is kind of the Super S one graphic novel, and it's probably my favorite um, genre, but this one I think I needed a three because of the short stories. This just continues on the story of the thing from Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Venus, yeah, with their transformations because they're not able to trans transform into their supers or transform at all, so they get more powerful and stuff. This is a pretty girl, magical girl, um, story, so it's about a girl named Usagi, who is not on this cover, so you the cover, by the way, but Usagi is a protagonist, and she meets a stray cat, um, who gives her a, a compass, a brooch, and tells her to transform into Sailor Moon, and Sailor Moon is a warrior, Sailor Warrior who fights crime and defends, defeats, defend, defeats villains that take over or try to take over the earth. Um, and this one is um, dealing with the Dead Moon Circus, which I love the circus theme in this book. It's like dark and definitely more. Um, it's not traumatic at all, like, the, the story is just super dark, but we have, we meet, I guess we meet, what we meet, we meet, um, the Amazon Quartet Synthetic Pegasus, and this one has more of Darian and how he, like, has to, um, kind of how he and Helios have a connection because they share a black rose and that is meaning that they are affected that's why he is sick and stuff so yeah I really love this kind of story um the short stories were okay we had one that was Lita's Marikami, which I did a four star. Um, Amy's First Love, which was a 3.5. And Ray and Mia's 
girls with battles with the three stars. And these ones with the reason why it's a three is because of the stories. Those stories are very like I guess it's a comedy. Comedy the comedian. Um Comedy, 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 comedy stories. So it's more like they do fight a bad guy in each of their stories, but they don't like necessarily. I don't. Know, they don't necessarily. Um, they don't necessarily like learn anything, or it doesn't progress the story very much. So yeah, um, and that is all I read in for the megas and graphic novels. I really have enjoyed this one, obviously. I love Silly Moon, so yes, we definitely love that. Um, and um, those are all the books. Um, I do highly recommend um, um, some of them that I really love. Um, like, um, I will be making a video on um, all the graphic novels that um, I really loved, um, including some that I read last year and stuff, because I do love graphic novels. They're really simple and easy to read. And yeah, please um, subscribe um, down below if you want to. Um, comment down below and give a thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!